Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to talk about the NSC or NMS script engine and also we will see how we can write our own NSC file to detect a service or report with a custom banner. So in your organization, you might be asked to write a particular NMS script engine to detect a particular service or show a banner or detect a particular port. So this video is going to definitely help you to write your own NMS script engine. So NMS script engines are typically having the file format ending with .nsc which you will see slight bit later and those are written with uh, Lua programming language. So let's go ahead and Google for Lua. So if you go Google for Lua you can see that Lua is a high level programming language and it's written for your uh, primarily for your embedded use in applications. So you can go to their official websites and read more about it. They have their documentation other thing. In fact, in tutorial point, there are some of the basics, right? How to create a variable, how to create data types, loop, functions, other thing, which if you want to learn, then you can, of course, learn. So let's go ahead and use one of their online, uh, like, compiler to write some of our code. So that, so let's go ahead and then write, let's say I'm writing this print statement. So if I want to display something, then I can simply type print and say, this is a print statement. Right, and if I run it, it will simply run and say this is a print statement. Now, if I want to, don't want to show something or you want to put something in comment, then I can put a double dash and say this is a comment line. Right, and if I run it, this won't be displayed here. Now, similarly, for declaring a variable, it is really very simple. So I will say like variable equal to let's say 34. And if I print this particular value, so I'm saying print and saying variable, right, and run it. This will display the 34 value. So you can also, the variables are like, it can support decimal value. Let's say I'm citing 34.234 and running, it will show the same value, right? So this is how the simplicity of this Lua programming language. So let's say I'm writing a small program to check a bigger number between two numbers. So let's do it. Like, let's say I'm writing one equal to one, sorry, and two equal to two. Let me remove the space. And then I'm writing a small function. So I'll say function max between two number and passing one comma two, two parameter, right? And then I will say if one is greater than two, then return like let's say big or equal to one, right? And else bigger equal to 2 right this is a simple piece of code and finally end it here this if block and return return bigger and finally I'm closing this and if a function also right and let's call this particular max inside print method so I'll say max between your 1 comma 2 and let's go ahead and run this program. Now if you could see here, it has simply written two. So it is as simple as saying a text like function, whatever the function you are calling it, and if one is greater than two, then print the bigger number one, else print the bigger number equal to two. And simply it has gone ahead and run this program. So let's go ahead and look at our NMAP script engine program to check for a particular port. So I will simply go to my NMAP directory, desktop, cd, NMAP, and I have written a small program. So I'll say myscript.nsc. So this program is really very simple. It will have four different sections for a typical NMAP script. So there will be head where we'll be writing the description or maybe the author and few more details if you want to give like how to run this script or other things. Then we'll have these categories which I have marked is safe here which you don't need. So there are multiple categories available like your authentication, fudging, external, like default, discovery, and so many different things. Probably you can Google and learn it from NMAP official website. And then will be our port rule, which is the important section. What we are doing here is like port rule, calling a function, providing target IP address and port, then return port dot protocol if it is TCP and if port dot state equal to equal to open, then end here and go to this action section, right? So in action section, we have written a simple uh, action that is like actual commands that you, so in action section you can basically provide your actual commands. So I am just returning a simple banner saying like function target IP address and your port 
and returning the port is open then check for or look out for your robot.txt and other sensitive information right so once i have done written this small program all i have to do is save this and i have to copy this particular my script.nsc to the our, our uh, nmap uh, script engine file so i will simply type cp so if you don't know where nmap script engine stores its file you can type usr share nmap and then script right and if you type ls you can see all those nsc file over here so let's go ahead and copy our my script so i will type cp my script .nsc, then provide the path usr share and map scripts and simply enter it so this has successfully copied my script now if i go here yeah you can see here my script .nsc is here so let's go ahead and run my script to see whether it is behaving properly or not so i will type nmap and hyphen p let's say i'm checking port number 80 hyphen hyphen script equal to my script so you don't have to uh, provide dot nsc over here then i will provide my target ip address now as soon as i run this scan so it says the port is open check or look out for robot.txt or run nicto or derva sensitive uh, service service other thing right so this is how simple it is to write a small program or i would say the small nsc file to manually check for a port and uh, see uh, the custom banner or show the custom banner so this is really helpful if in your organization you need to write small program for or small ms nf script engine which can be used by multiple developer to see whether a particular port is open or not now let's go ahead and see one by uh, i think one guy named as sanuk thomas uh, one of the indian security researcher so i will uh, i have downloaded this particular file so let me quickly type ls and this uh, http nicto so what he has done basically uh, is written a small program to run a nicto scan on the http service uh, file right so if you could see here this is written by sanuf thomas uh, which is code name is this one so this script will run nicto on web servers found and this is the usage basically this is a simple example just to show you like how nmap script engine should be or uh, argument that it can show here the dot display show nicto result scan so if the particular port is found then it will say like port 80 and nicto scan save to my this particular directory 80 nicto scan save to this directory so you could see here he has used short port also so if you want to know more than port rule dot short port and other thing these are, are really important for you probably you can spend some more time and learn more on that so if you could see here the main section is your action where we are defining i mean defining the main command that the command to run the nicto on a host IP address, port number, and other thing. Also, it is saving the output in the this particular directory only. So let's go ahead and use this particular script. Uh, so all I have to do is nick to scan, and finally my uh, this particular HTTP nick to scan is already put there. So let's go ahead and test against one of our target map, right? And hyphen p80 and hyphen hyphen script. Sorry, script equal to http hyphen nicto dot scan sorry hyphen scan and then provide my target ip address and as soon as i run it probably it is going ahead with the nicto scan and it will show the output saved here let's wait for it excellent so nicto scan result is saved to this particular directory let's go ahead and browse it and if i open this you could see here this is the simple nicto output which is saved here with different like put method enabled and all those things right so this is the simple way uh, you can write your own nmap script engine uh, i think he has also made a framework or a portal editor like falcon or something you can google about it so this how you can use this particular falcon tool for creating nmap script engine so this is pretty much it about your nmap script engine i hope you like it